Hi, Sharon Coast Mesa r d Today we have a little 4G63 engine in our home, and we've still got the torque plate hooked up. And I want to show you the difference here as far as size, what happens with this when we take the torque plate off.、Uh, we can check this, and we can see that we're right at zero here. And we're going to take this off. We're at zero on all the rest of these cylinders as well, but we're going to take the torque plate off and show you how much out of round this thing. Does go when we pull the torque plate off. All right, we've got the torque plate off, and remember that the torque plate is used to simulate the cylinder head stresses that are imposed on the、uh, block when you、uh, put it on and torque it down. Now, we've had to torque this one down to 100 pounds because we've got these special studs in here. And if we look at this, you can see we're just about okay there. And、we're probably about an inch and a half, two inches down the hole. Now we're going to bring it up here to、uh, within about half inch of the top, and we're about a half a thousandth undersize, which is、eh, that's、uh, that's tolerable, but not great. What we're going to do now is check from stud to stud. And you can see that we're just about a half here. And I'll check over here. Zero there, and zero there. So as you can see, the cylinder does go out around、uh, when you put a torque plate on, and this engine is going to be receiving about 50 pounds of boost, making over 900 and some horsepower. And we have to make sure that we do everything we can to get this so it's going to be okay and last. If you have any questions about 4G63 honing. Give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.